BatMech welcomes you to our instructional video series. This instructional video is for the 2009-2012 Lexus HS 250H Hybrid Battery Pack for Module Replacement and Repair. You can also use this video as a guide to replace single modules with BatMech replacement modules. This video is intended for highly trained individuals who understand the risks of working with high voltage. Risk includes loss of property or life. Repair at your own risk. We recommend using insulated tools, when you can, to help prevent sparks. Here's a look at our suggested personal protective equipment, or PPE. Your shop may have different protocols to keep you safe. It's always best to follow your shop's safety protocol. We recommend using high voltage gloves to protect you and then putting leather gloves over the high voltage gloves to protect the gloves. There are times during the disassembly where there is more risk of exposure to high voltage. So please be careful and wear your gloves when in doubt of your safety. To streamline this series, this video begins after the removal of your battery from the vehicle. We recommend placing the battery case on a non-conductive work surface. Let's get started. First, remove the black plastic portion of the fan duct. Then, remove the hardware so that you can remove the fan. Now that the fan is removed, proceed by removing this black connector, which will allow you to remove the black plastic duct. Next, let's remove these nuts then proceed by removing the metal component cover. Once the component cover is removed, disconnect these two wires. Then, remove this nut to detach these wires from the case and put them to the side. Next, disconnect this wire as well. For the next step, remove these screws and nuts then remove this metal cover and set the wires to the side. Then, remove the hardware on this wire and disconnect the black wire so that you can move them out of the way. Now, remove this black wire from the side of the case by detaching the push-in rivet. Next, remove the hardware as shown which will allow you to remove the main metal cover. Now, you can proceed by lifting the metal case. It is a good idea to have some help with this step. Once the case is elevated, proceed by flipping open this black plastic cover and removing these two main terminal screws. Now, you can separate the two main wires from this side which will allow you to relieve the tension on the metal case cover so you can set it to the side. Note, if you use a metal screwdriver to assist in removing the wiring harness, you should be aware that if you touch any two terminals at the same time, you will experience a spark. Next, remove the black plastic terminal covers. Then, remove the terminal nuts. Once the nuts are removed, you can remove the wiring harness from this side of the modules. On the opposite side of the battery, you'll repeat the last three steps. First, remove the black plastic terminal covers. Then, remove the terminal nuts and finish by removing the wiring harness. Again, if you use a metal screwdriver to assist in removing the wiring harness, you should be aware that if you touch any two terminals at the same time, you will experience a spark. Next, you'll remove these two screws. Now you can carefully flip the battery over. Next, remove these nuts as shown here, and then remove the metal bracket. Now, you'll proceed by removing all the screws that attach the battery modules to the metal case. 
Next, go ahead and remove this plastic push-in rivet. Now, you should be able to easily remove the metal case from the battery modules. Once the metal case has been removed, remove this black plastic piece from the end. Next, go ahead and remove the temperature sensor wires. It is a good idea to mark their location before removing them. Now that we have the battery pack separated from the case, we can stand the pack up, making sure the metal tabs are at the bottom. Then go ahead and remove the white plastic bookend from the compression block. Once that is removed, proceed to remove all the old modules and set them aside. Remember to return the old modules back to Batmech if applicable. Now that the battery is completely disassembled, you can prepare to reassemble the battery. Carefully unpack your Batmech boxes. Everything you need to rebuild your battery, including new bus bars and nuts, will be sent to you. Your Batmech batteries are individually tested to assess leaks, capacity, voltage, and internal resistance. The highest and lowest capacities are arranged in ways to optimize the pack's performance and to optimize the differences in block voltage throughout the pack. Each pack is load tested at the same time, but Batmech monitors the voltage of each individual module when testing. Packs are tested under a high current load. This is also a great time to remind you to save your boxes you received from Batmech. These make great core return boxes for shipping your old modules. Back to Batmech. Once your mech-tested Batmech batteries have been removed from the boxes they were shipped in, go ahead and stack them sequentially, from number 34 on the bottom up to number 1 at the top. Be sure the metal tabs are at the bottom or foot of the compression block before you assemble the battery modules into the compression block. After stacking your modules, they should look like this. The numbers should be sequential, from number 1 at the top down to number 34 at the bottom. Notice the two metal tabs at the bottom and the sequential numbers to the left of the stack. On the reverse side, modules should rotate from non-vent to vent. If you have two positives next to each other, you have the modules out of order. The same is true if you have two vents on top of each other. Notice at the top to the right and left sides. The numbers are out of order and some are even turned upside down. Pay close attention not to make these mistakes. First, another thing to keep in mind is that the modules should be flush when stacked on top of each other. This is achieved by making sure these interlocking tabs on the modules line up to where they connect with another module. If your modules are staggered, this is because your modules are not stacked properly. Next, you'll reattach the white bookend to the top of the compression block. Again, make sure your modules are lined up correctly, or you will end up ruining the modules when they compress together and your battery pack will fail immediately or soon thereafter. Once the bookend is on and the modules are compressed, we can lay the battery pack down. Next, you'll go ahead and reattach the temperature sensors. Then, reattach the black plastic piece from the end. Now you'll put the metal case back on. Then put the plastic rivet back in. Next, you'll use the Batmech supplied screws to reattach the battery modules to the case. Once the modules are attached to the case, you'll reattach the metal bracket as shown here. Next, you'll need to flip the battery pack over. Then finish attaching the metal bracket with these two screws. The next step you'll want to take is to replace all your old corroded bus bars. Batmech has supplied brand new nickel-coated bus bars with your battery pack purchase. The old bus bars are located within the orange wiring harnesses. This step is critical to ensure that the battery will work at peak performance, and to ensure the battery won't fail now or in the near future 
due to corrosion on the bus bars. Be sure to take extra precautions not to break a terminal when removing or replacing bus bars. If you happen to break a terminal, never fear. Batmech.com sells replacement wiring harnesses for this model battery. The rest of the reassembly of the battery pack will re-energize the battery. Your shop may have different protocols to keep you safe. It's always best to follow your shop's safety protocol. Before attaching the wire harness, be sure your torque settings on your torque wrench are set to about 55 inch-pounds. If you don't follow these torque settings, you are likely to damage the terminals on the modules and will void your warranty. Never use max drill settings and never use an impact wrench. Now that the bus bars have been optimized, you'll need to reattach the orange wiring harness to the battery module terminals using the Batmech supplied nuts. Repeat this step on the opposite side of the battery pack. Now's a good time to take a photograph of each side of the battery. These photographs can be used for review of assembly if you experience issues. This may save you from having to uninstall the entire battery later. Now that you've taken pictures of your battery pack, you'll need to attach the black wiring harness covers. Now it's time to put the metal case back on. For this step, start by tilting the case so that the two main terminal wires can be attached. You may need someone to lend a hand and help tilt the case cover while you attach the wires. Once the wires are connected, you'll lay the case over the modules and back on top of the pack. Next, go ahead and reattach the wires and plug with the four nuts. Now, you'll use your push-in rivet to reattach the wire here. Next, plug in these two orange wires and then secure the wires in place with the nut. Then, you'll proceed by plugging in this wire. Next, reattach this metal cover. Now that the cover is attached, you'll need to reattach the main component cover. After the main component cover is attached, proceed by reattaching the main metal case on this side. Then, go ahead and reattach the metal case on this side. Next, use the black plastic push-in rivet you removed earlier to reattach the fan duct. Then, reattach the fan as shown here. And finally, reattach the rest of the fan duct. Your Batmech refurbished battery is finally complete. You can now reinstall it into your vehicle. Here are a few pro tips. Be sure the service plug is secured properly, otherwise you'll get error codes. You'll also want to clean your cabin filter every three months. Be sure to clean your cooling fan. Dirty cooling fans can cause the battery to overheat. This concludes our how to demonstration. Remember as a highly skilled mechanic with high voltage training to wear the appropriate personal protection equipment your shop requires. Stay safe and thank you for shopping on batmech.com.